with shape. Draw with shapes. Clock. Clock. Okay. Ooh. Kids, are you a lazy bones? Our mom I don't need an alarm clock. Ask you to get up every day. Huh? <laughs> ah. Hi. Aggie needs Listen. an alarm clock to wake up every day. Welcome to Ryan's world. Meet my new robot friend, Eggie. Nice to meet you. Let's draw something. Okay, I guess we're gonna draw something. Welcome, friends. Let's draw a beautiful insect. It has a long body. So, any idea what insect it could be? The... Not enough clue? Maybe a fly or something. A fly? Maybe. People may think it has two wings. Two wings? Actually, it has four. Huh? An insect with four wings. Okay. I think it's a butterfly, actually. You think so? Yeah. Okay, let's continue to see if you're right. It can flap its wings about five times every second. So, still think it's a butterfly? Yeah. Did you know it flaps its wings five times a second? That's a lot. I did not know that. <laughs> Yeah, like that. So it does it step by step, so that way if you want to, you can follow along. Can you guess what it is? I love it. I never thought about putting hearts on the butterfly. Wow, it is a butterfly. Well, we got it right. It's a butterfly. Okay, next game. Let's do a maze. Maze basketball. Can you see how to get a basketball to the basket? Mm. Let's find out where the exit is. There are small stars in the place of the exit. Let the basketball go out of the exit. Okay, Eggie, challenge on. Let's do this maze. So, I go this way. Yeah, so far so good. And this way. And this way. Yeah, you reached a star. Good job. Next challenge is testing out nature knowledge. Natural knowledge, fire. The light and flame are emitted when an object burns is a fire. Mm. A torch can be ignited uh. and used to illuminate the road. Okay. Look for mm. some dry wood to ignite. You can also burn and keep them warm. So, we are drawing a few pieces of wood below. That's pretty good Then, flame. at the mm -hmm. top, draw some flames. Do you know what the fire is used for? Cooking. Yes. Stuff. Fire can be used to cook. Good job. Temperature. A several thousand degrees fire. Just with wood. Wow. That's a really, really high temperature. Mm -hmm. So, don't be greedy and get close to the fire. Yeah. Is that safe to get close to the fire? Oh, it's spelling out fire. Oh. F I R E. Fire. Next challenge, drawing with numbers. We need to use the number one as the back of the bird. We draw the number three as the head and the abdomen uh, of the see bird. See it, number one right here, and then number three. Wait, I wanna to try to draw that too. Yeah. So can you tell me which number we should use to draw the wings of the bird? <gasps> two. Number two, yeah. So... Yes. We can use the two. number two as the wings two. of the bird. We use the number zero as its eye. The number four as the tail of the bird. Oh. You see a four there? Oh, yeah, I'm not good at writing these fours. It's okay. The bird's claws are small, and we draw them under the number three. The bird is standing on the branch. Nice. Tree. Best yeah. branch. Yeah. This is Ryan's bird. And this is Eggy Bird. Looks almost the same, right? Yeah. Good job. Draw with shapes. Draw with shapes. Clock. Clock. Okay. Ooh. Kids, are you a lazy bones? Our mom I don't need an alarm clock. Ask you to get up every day? Huh? Ah. <laughs> Eggy needs Listen. an alarm clock to wake up every day. Circle for Eggy and circle for Ryan. Cool. I, I'm going to draw my own clock. Yeah, draw whatever you like, Ryan. That's the beauty of drawing. You can make it your own. This little lazy bone hasn't gotten up. These two oval bells are ringing. Ring. It has two small feet, like two small semicircles. Two nice. small feet. Eat. Nice. Eat. A heart shape. Oh, is there space? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You got this. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> Looks exactly like the heart. That's the wrong way. <laughs> But that's fine. Exactly. There's no wrong way to draw. The bells of this clock are semicircles. 
Mm -hmm. There are also two short rectangular feet. A rectangular feet. Wonderful. Okay, guys, I had so much fun, and now I'm gonna let Emma and Kate play with Eddie. Okay, Emma, Kate, are you ready to guess what he's drawing? Yeah! yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, here, scan this on right here. Scan it. There you go. Do you know what I'm going to draw? Uh, see. Please pay attention to it. Okay. Uh, Any ideas? A frog! A frog! <laughs> okay. See, it has a big head. Okay. Oh, all right. And they help it communicate with other parts. It's an ant! You think it's an ant? Yeah. You think it's a mommy ant? Yeah. yeah. Mommy bunny? Yeah, mommy. Okay, guys, mommy. I'm gonna continue. Can you guys guess what it is? Let's see. Ant. <laughs> okay, it has eyes. Cute. Look at the big mouth. Whee. Cute. So cute. But they can make it funny if they want to. But it has no ears. It has no ears? Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, it's, a, it's another arm? Yes. Oh, Spider. Spider. Me, me, me. Me, me. <laughs> I think it's an ant, guys. Because ant has multiple arms and legs, right? Yeah, I mean, mommy. Join the legs. I think it's definitely an ant, I think. I think so. Let me see. Guess what it is. It's an ant. It's an ant. It's an ant. It's an ant. You guys guess right. I hope you guys had fun with Eggie and me and Emma and Kate. Bye! Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye! Eggie says bye too, except it's mommy's voice. Bye! bye.